Jimmy Thing from Maximum Peace here at Oculus Rift's launch event. I'm here speaking with uh, Ryan. And Ryan, how's it going? Going pretty well. Yeah, and Ryan's from you know the Oculus internal studio team. And we just uh, got a chance to play uh, Dead and Buried. And for those who have never heard about the game, you know, can you describe what it's like? Sure. So Dead and Buried is a two versus two multiplayer Western shootout where you're using the touch controllers to aim and shoot. You're grabbing, picking up weapons, throwing dynamite. Um, in this particular experience, we're throwing you into the Old West Saloon. So you are either the good guys or the bad guys, and you're playing against two other people over over the network. And you know, it is. We should mention that it's also using the Oculus Touch controllers as well. Um, and it won't be working with the Xbox controller. Is that right? Or? Correct. This is only a t this is a touch only experience. Okay. And it, you mentioned that it's two v two. Is there going to be a single player component as well? Is it uh, like online only? How, how does that work? Multiplayer is the main focus. Uh, we probably won't have much of a campaign, but we will have like other single player type experiences or even cooperative experiences where you and a buddy may shoot off, you know, shoot um, targets um, in like a shooting range experience or um, have just a single player shooting gallery and stuff like that. But the main focus is multiplayer fast paced action. Uh, so I played you know a whole bunch of uh, games today. This is one of the few games that is using the Oculus Touch controllers. And you know, as a developer, can you sort of uh, walk us through what that's like developing, you know, for, with the VR input in mind? Sure. Well, VR by itself is all new. So we're having to. Some things carry over from traditional game development, but a lot of things are new. Um, then you throw in something like touch, and now we're interacting with the world, the virtual world. So. We oftentimes try and develop for low mental load. So we have the extra buttons on the face and the, and the different thumbsticks and stuff, but for this game, you actually only have to use two buttons. We have a grasp button and we have a trigger button. And then everything else, even like the reload, we try and use gestures. So to reload, you actually flip the gun in or flip the gun down to reload to reduce the mental load and kind of make you feel like you're in, immersed more into the experience. So we try and do more of that rather than relying on just a lot of buttons to kind of remember. You know, the game is also very, uh, you know, uh, duck and cover based. Uh, can you talk about that a little bit too? It's sort of almost almost like room scale in, in a way, right? Sure. So in the game, you don't, there is no locomotion, but every time you die, you do respawn in a new location. And you either have like a pillar to hide behind, so you may like lean behind it or duck behind a barrel. It's kind of like having you know your own little paintball arena in your in your house. So it's pretty interesting that if you're just standing there, you're probably not going to do very well. So we encourage you to duck down or, or duck behind cover uh, to stay alive. So. And then uh, is this going to be a launch title with the with the touch or? Yeah, this will be a launch title for touch. Cool. And then uh, do we have a rough ETA on when we can expect to see that? Just second half of 2016. Okay. Cool. And you guys have a price by chance? Not yet. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to it regardless. Cool. So. Uh, for more information on the Oculus Rift, check out MaximumPC.com.